Boy, there's a big kerfuffle in Philadelphia this weekend. It seems like the district attorney up there made a mistake, an oversight, an error that anybody could have made when his prosecutor recommended sending a guy who shot an Asian, a black guy who shot an Asian storekeeper with an AK-47 while he was defending his family inside the store. They said, well, yeah, three and a half years to 10 will be okay for that. Let's drop the attempted murder charges. When that happened, people in Philadelphia went, well, yeah, that sounds kind of strange, but hey, the guy just got elected. That's why he was elected. That's what he said he was going to do. He was all about criminal justice reform. He all about the fact too many black people are in jail and prison, get arrested and stopped for no reason whatsoever because everybody knows white people are out there doing the exact same thing. Cops are always looking the other way or judges are always slapping them on the wrist. So when this Krasner got elected in uh, a year or so ago, he put ads in legal journals. He put ads here and there and he went on a major recruiting effort to tell everybody. It's like, oh yeah, we got to find the right prosecutors who, you know, want to change the system, who, you know, want criminal justice reform, blah, 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 who want, you know, justice, not just revenge. So that's what he did. Well, he's not, you know, he's not, not out there by himself. Lots and lots of papers have done stories about this new breed of criminal uh, new breed of criminal justice prosecutor this new breed of district attorney the formula for getting elected is the saying go to George Soros's group get a million dollars in change go to black for for campaign materials go to black lives matter for some high visibility endorsements uh, and then um, get elected that's happened in st. Louis and that's what happened in Chicago that's what happened in Philly. That's just what happened in Boston. Everybody's playing from the same script. And the weird thing is this script is they're playing from the same script that they're now using in Washington, D.C. to say, oh, yeah, we got to do that nationally in the federal system, too. And this is Trump. These are Republicans talking about doing this exact same thing federally because it's working out so well locally. Anyway, after this guy Krasner did what he promised he was going to do, people in Philadelphia, it took him a while to do it, but they said, hey, did you really just send a guy to jail, prison for three and a half years, who used an AK-47 and shot a father in front of his family? Is that, is that what it's worth these days? Because, you know, three and a half means less than two years. And people, you know, it took a while for that to percolate. Then they figured out, then they heard the guy was really seriously injured, maybe for the rest of his life. Then they heard this, the, the DA had not notified the family of the plea arrangement before the plea, which apparently is against the state law in Philadelphia. And then all of a sudden, you know, after about six months of this sentence happening, people went, oh, yeah, you know, hey, what's up with that? You know, that's not a very good idea. That's what you voted for, you clowns. That's what you got. You got people running around the streets of Philadelphia with AK-47s and the prosecutors looking at them going, uh, yeah, that's worth about three years because after all, you know, uh, 400, 4,000, 4 million years of slavery, don't you know? Welcome to criminal justice reform. Some people up in Philly are figuring it out on a local and a national level. If you look at the comments, there's people going, listen, if you, you know, if you, if you look at the comments, you'll see people going, oh, yeah, and don't forget, the victim here was Asian. And Asian people in Philadelphia, especially these small shopkeepers, which is what this guy was, they are just targets every day of ridiculous levels of black hostility and violence. And the city council shrugs its shoulder and says, they actually said this. They said, if Asian people try to protect their store from black crime, that's an insult to black people. Please, sir, I want some more. Welcome to criminal justice reform. Yes, let's have some more of that, sir. Let's have a whole bunch more of it on a national level. And let's all pretend none of this other stuff's happening because that's the best way not to make the black kids angry.